War number 10, I think. Uh, season 24. Uh, let's get into the first fight real quick. Because there's going to be the Steady Build-Up Theory node. On Path 2, Section 1. And if you blink, you might miss what happens here. So, basically how you use Thing versus Steady Build-Up Theory is by just letting them build the Furies up and Thing would just be triggering protection on every basic hit. Uh, but here there's this Hyperion and he just really doesn't want to throw that special. And on some basic hits he's triggering protection on me. But then there uh, I didn't have protection. So uh, that first hit of the SP3 deals more than half my health and the second hit just kills me. Now, I could have sworn that in the past uh, I've had encounters versus Thing using Hyperion where Thing ends up triggering protection mid SP3 animation. And I was maybe like counting on that to, to come and save me here, but that didn't even happen, so I was just very confused and I, uh, yeah, I felt pretty crappy there. So I go back into the same fight, Steady Build Up Fury. Uh, the alternative to, to dealing with this fight, I found out, is uh, Dragon Man and just spamming SP1s. Uh, not not too difficult. I prevented uh, the Fury buildup here and also the uh, the the buff. I don't know what the, the debuff is off of um, Dragon Man's SP1, but I I do believe that it does reduce the potency of uh, of the armor ups uh, of of the power gains. So you know, I think that's also doing something here. That's that's nice for for my for my survivability. But yeah, uh, Hyperion is down. Um, I was very confused uh, in that fight. I, I felt betrayed by by Hyperion, my my oldest, my first 565 character. It it hurt a little deep down inside. All right, moving on to the EMP mod. Uh, Sim Supreme here. I'm using Thing versus EMP mod Sim Supreme. Very, very good matchup, and even better matchup because Sim Supreme was placed with suicides. Uh, the the team we were going up against, I think, I think this was NY. Yeah. So they also they placed with suicides a lot on on, on a lot of the nodes. Uh, I think it was also after the the recent ban wave, so that could have something to do with it. But yeah, they placed with suicides on a lot of the nodes. They knew they were gonna lose, I think. So I just went in with thing, not even healing up to all the way to full. Nothing much to worry about there. That fight, you would have to try very hard to lose that fight with thing versus Sim Supreme. All right, moving on to Thor Ragnarok on the uh, the, the power the power suppression node the. The one where it's steady buildup, but he'd be draining your power. Got him awful with node names tonight. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's that node. I, I did show it on screen for a, for a, for a second there. Uh, this fight with Magneto, extremely easy. Uh, I prevent a lot of the stuff from happening. I prevent a lot of the uh, the power drain passives from applying to me. Uh, I prevent, uh, you know, a, a lot of the stuff that, that goes on in this node. There's also Power Sting that's supposed to apply on this node every time you fill a bar of power. I don't get Power Sting at all on myself. So, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Nothing too much to, to worry about. I'm getting Sting to my SP3 uh, and landing that with a bunch of Prowess, prowess stacks. There I see I'm getting a, a couple of the power drains on me. I really want to get to my SP3. So I think I'm just going to go for a, a prowess refresh and uh, doubling the stacks there. And uh, then I'm going to go for my basic combos, get to my SP3, and this should completely finish the fight. Thor so Ragnarok is also metal, so you know a lot of those abilities are, are completely shut, shut down there. All right, moving on to a buffet uh, clairvoyant here, Black Widow clairvoyant. Now, my, my initial intent of, of, my partial initial intent of bringing Thing to this war, other than, you know, being assigned to bring Thing to this war was maybe like showcasing some of his strengths other than how he can shine with the whole uh, full Thing team synergy and, you know, playing it at next to no health situation. 
So, you know, how amazing thing is versus steady build up theory, or how amazing thing is versus EMP mod, or in this case, how amazing thing is versus a buffet, because thing is basically buffet immune, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't, you know, get his uh, his buffs nullified by the buffet uh, node. Uh, therefore, he he doesn't give them any regen. So that's amazing. And on top of that, in this fight, I I'm pretty sure I get parried at some point going after uh, Black Widow clairvoyance SP1. Yeah, there I get parried. I take next to no damage because protection triggers. It's it's it can be hard at times to die with thing, but uh, I also kind of disproved my own point uh, by dying to the first fight in the first like 40 seconds of it uh, so I feel I'm, I'm not sure how I feel anymore conflicted is that is that the way to feel here and I also like eat uh, the final hit of the sp2 from black widow here at some point or maybe I already ate it um, yeah man thing is pretty hard to hard to die with I do have like 40 of those power drain stacks on me so uh, that's not a good time for my power, but I, I don't have to worry too much about it because I can just, you know, kill her with my basic combos. And I also had a source of healing with the, the buff immunity debuff that, that she places on me. All right, here's a T-Rex mini boss on the stunning reflection node and a polka dot power. So here I'm gonna be using my Dragon Man. And this is a rank three six star T-Rex. Uh, so how this fight is gonna go is, is actually pretty interesting. Here I'm gonna just uh, go for blocks and intercepts. No parries obviously because of the, the stunning reflection being active. I'm gonna be exclusively baiting SP1s because Terex's SP2 gives him that power gain buff. And I don't wanna you know have to deal with him being in uh, being in his rock field more uh, more than I need him to be. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be baiting his SP1s and I'm gonna gain power passively uh, via my power gain buff to my own SP2, land the SP2, Dragon's Man's SP2 uh, applies three stacks of Incinerate. Incinerate will allow me to gain even more power via Polka Dot Power. And also Incinerate, what it does is turn off the, the Stunning Reflection node. Uh, when the stunning reflection notice is inactive, I just go for a parry. I use my heavy to remove the, the incinerates and deal a big chunk of damage, and then just rinse and repeat with that same cycle. Wait for my power gain buff to come back, get to my SP2 again, and you know just rinse that, and you know eventually Terex is gonna die. I did took I did take a bunch of damage here, uh, some of it from block damage, and a large portion of it was from uh, was from the the rock field damage. Uh, you know, the Dragon Man doesn't have any energy resist or anything like that, so that was pretty that was pretty scary there. Uh, I was also boosted semi heavily here. All right, the final fight here, Annihilus Mini on the uh, brute force node and Limber. Limber gets turned off for the most part by Magneto and his perfect block, and Nihilus is metal, and uh, he also plays with suicides, so, you know, sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> sounds like a good time for Magneto. Magneto is passively reducing his healing by, by, by a bunch, by 5%, so he's reversing the healing there. I actually got caught with the, with the SP1 because I got, you know, I, I was pretty slow, I was too slow on, on landing my heavy, on, on launching my heavy. I, I should not have even gone for that there. And I just finished the fight with 100, 100 plus K SP2 there uh, on the crit. Anyways, I'm gonna throw the stats from wars one through 10 uh, here. And yeah, I did die again this war. I guess, you know, two deaths this season so far. Hopefully no more for the rest of the season. We do have some pretty competitive wars coming up. Maybe we'll snag the top three. Maybe we won't. We'll find out. Thanks all for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.